show on the road. Um, this is going to be pretty fast paced. So I, I'm trying to cram as much into this as I possibly can. So I give you guys everything that I got. Um, I also wanted to let you guys know a few things. So I scanned through everybody's questions. I looked at the attendee list. So there's about 15 total people that registered. Most people said they were going to catch the replay. Um, and everybody on the list is like it, going down it. It's pretty cool to see everybody's doing multiple six figures, multiple seven figures kind of in that window. Um, so it's a really good group of you guys. So I just wanted to make sure that everyone knows kind of where you're at. So this is going to, we're going to be speaking to you guys more in that point with that stuff. Um, couple other things that we'll do. Uh, there will be a quick break that we'll take for 20 minutes at 320. Um, it's a, it's a three hours. This is my first time actually like formally teaching this stuff. I've, I've taught a lot of it to clients one-on-one -on -one and on the sides, but we've never really done anything like this. So I'm really excited to go through all this. I put a lot into it and, uh, I'm eager to see your guys's questions and what you guys get out of it as well. So I wanted to start with just you guys quickly introduce yourself in the chat. So that way you get a feel um for who all is here and in fact since it's such a small group if you guys want to actually just introduce yourself on video that's cool too <clears throat> mark you want to start yeah so it's mark and Haley lambert uh, this is my wife um i do the marketing stuff Haley does the operations stuff with our business uh, we've got a few different brands but um we've got a seo agency we're doing about uh 30 K a month now. Um, I've been following your stuff for uh, for the last year, and I've just learned so much, dude. I I can't believe what a great teacher you are. So I was thrilled to jump on this call and to hear this. I, I didn't realize we were going to be on video doing this like this, but it's great. And uh, you and I talked about a month ago. Um, we're in Argentina right now. Oh, you are. So, That's awesome. Where, boy? Yeah. 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 Nice. Nice. Yeah. How is it? It's great. It became spring today, right? Oh, Turn yeah, that's cool. <laughs> right? So it's that's getting like warmer, that. and uh, it's it's beautiful. It's fantastic. Awesome. Haley, you want to give a quick intro as well? Well, just, yeah, I've been following you for a little bit as well. Mark keeps me updated on all the different things <laughs> that you say, but I, I also scan the emails. He's much more of an avid reader um, of them. But stoked to be here and excited to just learn some more. Yeah, Haley, ops manager, and you know Jill of all trades. <laughs> yep, yep. That's a uh, Adriana and I are like that. So I and all the marketing and sales stuff. She's the logistics and handles all the op operations. And you guys will get to meet her in a little bit too, which will be fun. Awesome. Um, sweet. Well, glad to have you, Richard. You want to give him a quick intro? Sure. I, I envy, I'm, yeah, I envy both of you guys, uh, couples, um, having a team like that. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, not so long, um, with Mike, uh, and I'm getting going, uh, setting up, uh, an agency to help people with ERTC. It's a USA only, uh, federal rebate to help people affected by COVID businesses affected by the COVID shutdowns, lockdowns. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's a lot of money available from the federal government and it's my job to get it to the right people. And in fact, just, I wanted to let you guys know, you guys should connect, uh, at some other point, you guys might be able to set up a cool win-win referral relationship between the two of you. Sure. Be Mark, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a lot of the folks that you guys are serving that aren't even aware of BRC or haven't leveraged it. And you guys could probably, uh, set something up. That'd be a good referral relationship. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sweet. All right. So I'm going to roll through this. I'm going to skip the formalities of the rags to riches story that everybody loves so much. Uh, and we'll just roll straight into it. So I really want to start with some journal prompts for you guys. And I want you guys to step into the picture, to be able to see it, to be able to smell it, to be able to feel it, to be able to hear it and really get yourself in that state of mind. Um, for Richard, I know you already know this, working as closely with us as you have, but I'm a big believer in mental rehearsal. Um, I actually imagined the intensives for a long time prior to them becoming real. 
which was really cool. And uh, so I want you guys to take a moment, get your pen and paper out, and we'll roll through a few prompts here to get those creative juices flowing so you guys can visualize and really feel like what your dream intensive will look like and feel like both for you and for your clients. Okay. Cool. So first question for you guys, where are you? Not where are you now? You're running your intensive. Where are you as you're running your intensive? For some of you, you might want to do it in your backyard. So maybe you're in Colorado. Maybe you're in Canada. Maybe you're in a big city. Maybe you're in a cool country that you've always wanted to go. Maybe you're at an amazing resort property that you've had your eye on for a while, but you never quite gave yourself permission to pull the trigger on booking that ticket. But where are you? Maybe you're on a boat too. Maybe you are on a train. That's a cool thing about this. So where are you is one question. What vehicle are you riding in? So I had a, I have one friend who does intensives and, and uh, his thing was he had always wanted a VW, like a 1970s VW bus that he would get all his clients loaded up in and drive them to the restaurant and whatnot. Um, I've had uh, other folks, they have party buses. Uh, some people will be in boats. So like what vehicle are you guys riding and what's your style with that? What music are you playing? Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. The music's a big part of the energy of the intensive. So what music are you playing? How do you help people get in the state? What's it sound like? What kind of entertainment do you provide to your clients? Are you guys going out to a sporting event? Are you going out to a concert? Are you um, taking them to show, show them something that's special to you? Taking them to your favorite restaurant in town? Sushi. Okay. What kind of food do you share with your clients? Fresh fish. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm Italian, and for us, like it, our Italian dinner on on Christmas Eve is like super important. We eat spaghetti and meatballs and chicken and all that on on Christmas. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I really like to take our clients to my favorite Italian restaurant here. Um, and it's a big factor of where we are. So what kind of food are you sharing? Is there, is there a type of food that you really like to put people on? Like, you know, I love to, to introduce people to Indian food for their first time. That's one of my favorites is watching someone have Indian food for the first time. So is there a type of food that you're sharing or an experience you're helping curate for them? Um, what surprises throughout the time are you giving your clients? How do you make it memorable? How do you how do you go above and beyond what their expectations are? How do you blow their expectations out of the water? Okay. Is there a city that you've always wanted to visit? Is a question to ask. You know, and this this is one of the fun things about intensives is you can combine work and play. So you know, you might you might have wanted to take that trip and never quite justified it, and it gives you the reason then. Wonderfully enough, you get a 30% savings on everything because they're now tax write-offs. So, you know, what city have you always wanted to visit or place that you've always wanted to go? And what message do you want your clients to receive? What do you want them to take home at the end of this experience? What's the point you're trying to drive home? The big idea, the aha, the... What offer did you make? What do you offer your clients? Okay. How much revenue did you generate off of your intensive? Now that your clients are going back home and they're reconnecting with their families, they're reconnecting with their spouses, their significant others, their friends, their coworkers, what are they saying about the intensive? What are they saying to each other? What do they tell you after the intensive? Mike, let me ask you this. Hmm. I know that you do, uh, you know, two two day intensives in in Lauderdale. Mm -hmm. um, 
Is that what you're talking about? Or are you talking about these video like intensives like we're doing now? We do both. So I, I love both, to be honest. Uh, you, generally, how I like to structure our stuff is I try to alternate between the two. Um, so, so usually, like, once every six months, we'll do an in-person, and then once every uh, once every six months, we'll do a, a virtual. Sometimes, if I'm feeling, like, extra gusto, I'll do four in-persons in a year. Um, but you can alternate. You can decide how you want to do it, you know? Okay, so when you say intensive, you may be meaning the the virtual kind or the in-person kind. Correct. Yes, definitely. definitely. Okay. Yeah, and you can create create and curate that experience in both environments. Okay. All right, cool. So now let's transition and share a little bit because I know you guys might be inspired by what each other end up prompting ideas and thoughts. So, um, Richard, what, what did you came up? I heard steel band as you were saying it. So, uh, I'd love to hear a little bit more about that and any other things that stood out to you as you went through the process. So, um, my dream is to be on the island of Grenada, uh, having spent three weeks there. Um, I already have the house. It's still for sale, 1.65 mil, um, on a cliff overlooking the ocean, um, not far from, uh, the main town, um, capital, but also uh, either there or sailing on my 50-foot, um, potentially 75-foot sailing yacht, um, island hopping, and uh, ideally to have a in-house or a, an intensive on the island there. Um, I'd have guests uh, staying. Um, it's a big enough place. Um, I'd have live band. Um, on the island, they're famous for steel bands, but I love soca, uh, of course, reggae, just a mix of different music, different live bands, actually, because I, I wanted it to be really high level. Uh, some great restaurants, not just in Georgetown, but along the coast, um, fresh fish, tons of it. Um, surprises during the intensive. Uh, I would challenge people to have really corny games like charades. Um, and, I love that you know, old Christmas party type uh, games, um, guessing things. But also I would surprise them with guests to come in, high value guests. Um, the type, type of intensive I'm thinking of isn't just related to my federal rebate program, um, but it would be collecting people that are really excited to invest in different uh modes, whether it's real estate or businesses or new ideas or tech, um, thinking outside the box, uh, off market. So people from around the world, it wouldn't just be US based or European. Um, so um, message to the clients is uh, be open and say yes, and, and be ready to meet people because you never know what you'll find. And uh, if you share and give, you'll get a lot more in return. Um, I love that. Revenue, uh, TBD, but uh, I would hope that everybody would go leave knowing that in the next 12 months, sell two to three times whatever they're uh, putting into uh, whatever project they choose. And going home, they're, they're saying, wow, that was pretty amazing. I met so many great people, uh, great ideas, and they had a great time. Heck yeah, I love that. A good chair. <laughs> Mark, what, what came up for you? And then, uh, quick question before we get into it. Uh, Mark and Haley, did you do yours together or did you do them separate? We did it separate. Okay, cool. I'm going to have you guys each share separately then, and then we'll see what comes up. It'll be interesting too to see the differences of what each of you guys have. They didn't actually talk about it at all. So That's awesome. That's even better. That's even better. Uh, all right, Mark, take us away. What do you got? <laughs> well, you know, we, we've been traveling pretty much nonstop for the last four years. Um, I, uh, what would we do? I mean, we, we want to be remote and we want to, um, what do I want for my, my people? Um, I want my sort of clients to be like empowered. I want them to have freedom. And, uh, we are really in a giving space. I've been learning a lot from you, dude. I, I watched your video yesterday about the, 
what kind of ROAS do you need? And I actually talked to a client about it yesterday and landed a client partially he, right after I said it, he was like, dude, you, you're, you're different than anybody else I've ever talked to. I was like, you need a 10 X ROAS because you're in a service business. If we were in a sort of information business, it may be a two or three ROAS, but anyway, um, awesome. yeah, I want to have learned so much. I want them to have kind of freedom and joy in their family and, We've met with a few clients lately, and it's broken into a whole other level. I mean, we had some clients fly to come see us in the States from Hawaii because they were like, you have actually changed our family. We love that. We love that feeling that they get to um, have just joy and have what they want in their family. So, you know, as, as far as an intensive, I mean, what would I want? I would want people to feel like just super strong when they leave. Um you know, as far as the, the, what I would want them to, the, the music we listen to would be salsa. Um, I love that uplifted kind of sound. Um, as far as fun, you know, we would take them deep sea fishing. Um, you know, we've done a little bit of that. We had some clients and we took them just out on a boat in, in Mexico in the ocean and just caught just dozens of fish and they just loved it. Um, the food would be sushi. Um, you know, something we do is we give our new clients a knife, like a really beautiful Japanese knife. It's got their name engraved on it, right? No, like logo of ours or whatever, you know, <clears throat> their last name so that they can even pass it down to their, you know, kids. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't know how much revenue, I don't know, 10 times, 20 times what it costs for them to come in to, to see us. Um, I like that number. I like that what you were talking about, sort of 10 X it's a solid number. And if we're doing SEO, which we are, then that can roll out to even 20 or 25 X over time. And, uh, yeah, that's what, what I'd like to see. Heck yeah. I love the salsa. Maybe a little bit of chata too while you're at it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, some Marine Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so let's see. For me, it makes sense to start with like what the message is, what the big idea is. And to, to back up a little bit, I guess one of the things that I'm trying to like do in life and in business in general for us and other people is to kind of like push out the message that, that freedom is possible. You can mm -hmm. have the life that you want. It, whatever that is, not my freedom, but your freedom. And to me, that happens through SOPs and prospecting. So yes. that would be like the, the message that I want people to leave the intensive with is this is, this is the, the, the path to get there. There's many other important things in business, but these are to me the most important. So the offer would be, well, we'll systemize your business for you. We'll create your SOPs. I'm actually pretty good at that. Um, hard, but doable. Um, necessary. Necessary. You're right. It's required. Um, so I imagine being in Spain, there being some sailboat type background activity like waving at richard right waving at richard, <laughs> richard. Hey, richard. yeah yeah exactly maybe we're in a visa i don't know oh, um yeah. some reggae just because it's like fun and happy and it's one of my favorites I imagine there being some kind of live cooking um, event. I'm a kind of a food fanatic. I believe in, yeah, like healthy food. And so I imagine kind of um, brainwashing people a little bit to eat well and teach them how to do it. Um, also, just a, kind of an adrenaline junkie and kind of <laughs> athlete. So also some kind of adventure water stuff to get people in their body and to just like 
let some of the energy kind of dissipate in this awesome way using like physical activity. And also it seems like that's when um, lessons can kind of like ground into the, you know, the spirit a little bit. It's like when people get their like heart pumping after they've been like learning. So that's cool. That is really cool. I haven't even thought about that. So that's, uh, yeah. that's, that's awesome. I love that perspective. Yeah. So that's a, that's a start. Cool. Uh, cool. This is awesome. I love and, and it's cool once you guys can start to see it because it's like, you know, and it's, it's also interesting. The commonalities of like the fresh fish and the, the, you guys, which I think it's, it's fascinating. Like you'll start to, the more you put yourself out there, like, and not just your, your offer, or your hook, but you put you, like, all of you out there, the more that the people that you're attracting tend to be a lot more like you, right? And it's, it starts to form, like, a real tribe and a real cohesion of, like, you know, with our stuff, boats are important, tropical is important, but Latin culture is important. Like, it's all part of our ethos and aesthetic. And so um, what I wanted to do was just really quickly show you guys um, now that you've gotten a chance to think about some of that stuff a little bit, um, like here's a few things that I wanted you guys to see. Hey, Haley, my best friend in Sp is in Spain. He's Spanish. I met him when I was 16. He's got a house in Ibiza so we could sail there and meet Let's up. Let's go there. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so, so this is a video recap video from one of the intensives that we did down here in Fort Lauderdale. And so maybe this can give you guys some additional ideas. Um, and I'm, I'm going to go into it a little bit further on some of this stuff. My mind has been absolutely blown. My brain has been turned in. Is it green? Yes. Yeah. That's weird. Oh, it's scrambled out. Okay. Everybody, what they do, why they're doing this. And it's fucking awesome event. What up? We're here at the W, Fort Lauderdale. Freaking beautiful property, beautiful weather. People come in from all around the world here. And what we're doing this weekend is we are breaking down how to advance your career in sales, especially remote sales people. How you go from being a remote sales person to being a multimillionaire. And we're gonna give you the exact blueprint this weekend. There's gonna be some crazy ch transformations, crazy results just throughout the weekend. And I can't wait for you guys to see it all. It was when I started doing that that I got really good. Everybody thinks of the best salesperson, but we're going to make them put their money where their mouth is. So they all got the same offer. One of the kind of common things that people complain about is, oh, they got good leads. Oh, they had a good offer. Oh, they blah, blah, blah. We leveled the playing field. We divided them into teams. And now they're out in the streets in Fort Lauderdale selling candy bars. Let's see who brings home the most bacon. <laughs> Everybody's got different strategies, but ultimately, here's going to be the difference maker between the winner and the loser. The winner will have the best offer. The loser, they ain't going to have an offer. So it's just coming down to that, how they're structuring their offer. The team right now that is doing the oddest, they have a, a chocolates for charity offer is what they're, the way they're angling it, and it's a pay what you want. So when people ask, like, oh, how much is it a target? It's like, whatever you feel like giving, man. So that's a hot offer. We'll see if anyone else has something to compete with it, but it's gonna come down to the offer. It almost always does. I don't think we have any game plan. I really just don't want to come in last. Is there anything you can do to help me out? Yeah. 
Here, I'll just show you one last thing about that. Pretty cool. So that's just an example of one of our intensives. And um, there's a lot of that's going on in there that I want to point out too. Like a big part of what we're trying to do is expand their vision. And that's why we're taking them out on the water. They're seeing the boats. They're seeing the homes. And this is, this is where I live. This is my backyard basically. So I'm showing them and they get to experience me, like who I am in a deep level. And the cool part is, is so I, I actually make music. I know some of you guys know that. I don't know if everyone knows that, but I've made music for longer than I haven't made music. And like, I don't release a lot publicly, but they all got to hear my music and they're like, what? Like, and they get to experience you on like your full dimensional self. It's not just you, the guy that does this thing. It's you, they meet your family. They meet your kids. They meet you, they meet you as a multidimensional person. And that's what's really fun about that is when we start to do that, it creates just such a different level of connection with our clients in the process of doing it.